Welcome back here to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. It has been a little bit of time since the, our previous episode, and we are now in the month of June, and everything is growing, including the grass field over there. Uh, one of the things I want to get done in this uh, episode is, well, what I'm doing right now because the weeds also grew, so we're killing them, but also that grass field over there on the left, I want to get that mowed and build up. Because um, that is an important step towards uh, the goal we have of getting sheep here on Uncle Tom's farm. So that's something he really wanted to do, and I want to do it too, because it's sheep are awesome. They're a good money maker. Um, but for now, we're going to start here with this field and getting it fully sprayed with herbicide to kill all the weeds. Um, because this field is so large, though, we'll do a time lapse on it. All right, we are just about done here. There's just this little section here that I missed, and then there's another one uh, at the very top of the field over here that I also missed. So we're gonna go grab that real quick. And I think there's a couple here I missed as well, a little strip. So we'll grab that on the way up. Um, but once we're done here, we're gonna take this back over the yard and then we're gonna have to head over to uh, Clever Motors to uh, get a mower because we don't have one and we're going to kind of need that to mow the grass field. So uh, let me just get this last little uh, section here. All right, we are all done. So let's get this folded up. And uh, we will head back over to the yard and then uh, once we get everything put away, we'll head into town uh, and we'll probably use the Fint for that. And we're back over here at the yard and before I put this away, going to give it a wash down uh, because we are all done with the sprayer until, well, next time we do some planting, which is going to be quite a few months because that will be after we do harvesting in some cases it might not be till next spring so we'll go ahead and wash everything down and put away and then um i'll hop in the fent and head over to clever motors And we're just heading down the back road here on our way to Clever Motors. And uh, they uh, have a uh, Vernland uh, mower set that it's a pretty nice one, pretty spendy, but we are leasing. And so I think it's a good option for us to kind of go uh, for a really nice one. Because um, the lease cost makes it very affordable. And also it will save us time and just do a lot better job. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna pull up here. They do have those pull aside so I can take a look at them. 
So once we get in here, I am going to run inside and check them out and everything looks good. They'll uh, pull those out and we'll take them home. Alright, so our out of pocket cost on this uh, mower set is was only four thousand seven hundred thirty dollars. Now it is a uh, lease uh, that can keep and actually switch over to a lease to own. But uh, if we like it, we'll definitely keep it because we'll yeah we're, we're going to need a mower long term. But there's no rush on that because the way the lease is set up, if we don't use it that much, it pretty much costs us nothing. So we we'll only pay for basically what we use. So when it's going to be parked in our shed, it's pretty much costing us nothing. So let me get the uh, rear one hooked up here. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to take this back over to the farm and then we'll get started on mowing the grass field. And we are back here on the farm and just heading over to the uh grass field here and really excited to try out these mowers um not just because they're kind of cool but also the main reason we haven't started the process of getting a sheep barn and sheep is well we need some grass to feed them before we get them so this will be a major uh, step towards that goal All right, get this unfolded here. And I need to switch this over to swath mode. All right, cause that's the major advantage with this set is you don't need a windrow. All right, there we go, swath dropping. All right, let's get it turned on and let's get some mowing done. This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise We are just about done and these uh, mowers made short work of this field. They did a really nice job, they have really good windrows and they'll make easy work for the bailing. Uh, so we're just going to finish up this and the next row and then we're done here, which yeah, 
pretty awesome. Um, the only thing I've been trying to think about is where am I going to park these? Because I kind of didn't think about that. And I probably should have. Um, but yeah, let's, let's finish this up and then we'll head over to the yard and we'll find a spot for them. And uh, once we're done here, we're going to uh, get these mowers all folded up here. So let me just go ahead and get them raised up and turn them off. And let's fold them up. And then uh, we're going to head back over the yard and I'll grab the Massey and the uh, Mikel Bell and get started on filling all this up. All right, here in the Massey and got the Mikel Bell are all hooked up and I parked the uh, mowers over there beside the shed where kind of over where the cultivator was parked. Uh, it's a good place for now. Um, but yeah, super excited to use this uh, Beller. I have used it uh, on another map and absolutely loved it. And a big shout out to uh, Mark Thor for his work that he did on this Beller. Uh, let me just get this unfolded, get the wheels attached to the pickup, and then we're going to pull up here and start off going this direction. So let's get the lower turned on and we are bailing. Um, but yeah. Huge shout out to Mark Thor. He did an amazing job on this bailer. And, you know, also a shout out to all the modders because you guys make this game as awesome as it is. But yeah, we're going to focus here on the belling and uh, get this field all bailed up. Well, as soon as I turn on the automatic drop, I kind of forgot about that thing. Uh, there we go. Turn on. on the okay, there we go. All right, now we're going to bail up the field and we'll do a time lapse of this. All right, we are just about done here with this field. There's only these two rows left and we have almost a full beller. This is actually almost working out perfectly. Uh, let's see here. In fact, there's the last bill from this uh, field. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this row in the next one and then I will uh, be ready to get the sheep in, I guess. Yeah. So. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode here and then our next episode we'll focus on getting all the bells gathered up and loaded into the trailer and getting a sheep pen. Um, have not fully figured out where it's going to be but I do have a couple ideas. Uh, so make sure you tune in for the next video as we uh, finally move towards getting sheep. And with that, I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. I really hope that you're enjoying it and that you're enjoying this series. 
If you are, be sure and give it a like, it really helps out a lot. And also leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, any ideas or suggestions you have, they're greatly appreciated and they help out a lot. Uh, so I hope you have a wonderful day and really hope to see you in the next video.